Um, I don't really remember, but I think, you know, the last time there was a, a coronation, you know, everyone was getting TVs for the first time. So that shows like how far we've, you know, come and it's just kind of a new era and a new, you know, new time. And um, I'm excited to kind of, you know, there's lots of sort of different ideas behind the performance and like shining light on like the environment and like biodiversity and like things that I feel really passionately about. So I'm really excited to share that as well, because I know that's something that's very close to His Majesty's heart. So I'm really excited to to help champion that. Freya, you've got a new album, Blood Orange. Um, have you? <laughs> Congratulations with that as well. You're just like so excited this morning. Um, have you been? This is we... album release like month. I'm so excited, and yeah, it's my birthday next week, and just I'm just very excited right now. Yeah. You're in a great <laughs> place. It's great to see. Thank Happy you. birthday for next week. Um, were you to were you told what to, the what song you were going to perform, or did you get to choose? It was kind of a conversation, but there was a there was an idea behind it that I feel like is just a really really beautiful idea and I was like yeah just very very humbled when I heard the idea and I wanted to be part of it and kind of yeah like working together on a piece um but it's not a song of my new album but it is going to be um something that I'm really really proud to sing and really excited to okay. sing but yeah my new album's coming out on the 28th of April I'm so excited it's called Blood Orange um Freya it's been a joy talking to you um you're obviously very Thanks excited next time we talk to you maybe around the coronation will you play for us yeah, if Great. you don't give me, like, more prep, I'm 100%. Deal. Done. Freya Riding, singer, and who's going to be performing at the Coronation um, Concert at Windsor Pass Castle on May the 7th. That's all from us on Breakfast. Uh, Programme back tomorrow, of course, at 6am. Bye-bye. Live from London, this is BBC News. A man is pinned down and arrested by security staff in Japan as the Prime Minister Fumio Kishida is rushed to safety after an explosion. France's President Emmanuel Macron signs into law his government's controversial pension reforms despite months of protests. Scientists say the remains of ancient viruses which have spent millions of years hiding inside human DNA help the body fight cancer. Nurses in England will escalate their strike action in the coming weeks after turning down the government's latest pay offer. The French president visits Notre Dame Cathedral as restoration continues four years since a fire destroyed significant parts of the World Heritage Landmark. Welcome to the programme, I'm Lucy Gray. A man arrested on suspicion of throwing a smoke bomb at Japan's Prime Minister Fumio Kishida has been identified by the authorities as 24-year-old Ryuji Kimura. There are no further details regarding a possible motivation. Mr Kishida was about to give a speech in support of a local candidate of his ruling party, the LDP. Prime Minister Kishida made a speech at another location later on where he said the incident should not be allowed to disrupt the electoral process. The attack comes ahead of nationwide local elections and by-elections for vacated seats in Japan's lower house. Our correspondent Shaima Khalil has, in Tokyo has the latest.